Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the USC middleweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. He connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right hand upstairs. Couple of chins here being tested early. Dig and kick. Checks the leg kick. Slips. Head 
kick lands. Unable to land the head kick there. And a miss with the right hook. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Able to check that kick as well. Busy with the strikes. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Just unable to quite find that range. Big leg kick land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Ooh, head kick lands on hurt. Big kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, nice jab. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Both guys really throwing with authority. Sound defensively blocks the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. He is all about that left kick to the body. Unable to connect with a right hook. Big kick land. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Plus right hand is true. Oh, just misses with the kick. 20 seconds left. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Final seconds of round one. Yeah. Round two straight ahead. Yeah. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook 
behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real nice body kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Nice straight punch. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Big head kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Close guard. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Back to the feet now. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Real sneaky body kick. Nice leg kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Good punch lands. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. as he counters with that right hand. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, a huge block there. The next with a right. It's messed up really bad. Action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. 
All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Beautiful strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Right punches there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Nice head kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just low. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus miss in his opponent. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high. And now he's got a hurt back. Nice punch lands over the top. Hit him first. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Circling to his right. Oh, huge block! He can't even, he can barely stand. Three minutes to go in round three. That punch no good. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. That's find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Nice kick. Ooh, what a head kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. He didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Misses with the, with the leg over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice punch, man. Body. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Loaded up there on that high kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. 
That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. He blocks the punch. Look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice strike. Oh, big Superman punch there! And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Nice. Real quick leg kick. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Just out of range with that right hook. Big kick land. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up for the big knee to the head. Oh, and he caught the kick. Great punch landed with so much power. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Leg kick. Switching stances here. Back and forth we go here! We got the turtle in that kick. Just over two minutes now to go. Got the single collar tie. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just out of range with that strike. Head kick. Caught that kick there. My goodness. Oh, straight right. Beautiful kick. That right hand landed. Under a minute now to go. You gotta check these low leg kicks. There you go. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. 
game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 30 seconds to go. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Big head kick lands. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing his strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big kick lands. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right hand just misses. Punch is blocked. Powerful leg kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Good stick. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Watch the shot. Straight right hand, no good. the leg kick. What a tricky head kick. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Wow. 
Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Watch knees to the body. Circling away towards the left now. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Blocks the shot. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Body kick. Final seconds of this fight. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.